Psalm, it was that big one, Psalm 139, 17. How precious are your, no wait, whoa, whoa, sorry, I messed up. How precious are your, this is God's thoughts, thoughts. He's thinking, God thinks about you and he thinks good thoughts about you. So one more time, how precious are your thoughts to me, oh God. Okay, so now try it with me, everybody. Half of us did it, half of us did it. Here we go. How precious are your thoughts to me, oh God. All right, Psalm 139, 17. Can you say that, Psalm? Psalm. Psalm. A psalm is another word for song. It's right smack dab in the middle of the Bible. There's a bunch of psalms uh, or songs. Oh, I need to remind some friends. We sit on our bottoms. Eyes are forward. Ears are listening. listening. Eyes are looking. Brain is thinking. Okay. Psalm 139, 17. Do you need to go clip down, buddy? Okay. I just said it. How precious are your thoughts? To me, oh God. Yeah, give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. Psalm 139.17. Okay, who did we talk about uh, last week? It's in Genesis, the first book of the Bible. Think about it for a sec and then raise your hand if you can remember who we talked about. And he had a bunch of brothers. Who? Joseph. Joseph and the Johnny Coat of Colors. Joseph and that coat of many colors. Parker, who gave him the coat? Jacob. Jacob, his? Father. His father. Very good. And you even remembered his name. And he gave him that coat. Why? Because he loved him. He loved him so much. But there were 11 other brothers. Now, hold it. What did those 11 other brothers think about Joseph getting this special coat from their dad? Jealous. They were jealous. What's it mean to be jealous? Because you get mad. You get mad because of why? Because they have somebody, something that they really want. They have yeah. something that you want that you didn't get. Now, the opposite of jealousy is thankfulness. It's being thankful to God. So, if I see something that Kinsley has, like those leggings I love, I'm like, oh, I have no leggings. I want those leggings. Why can't I have unicorn but leggings? They don't, have no pants. they don't make them in my size. And I'm just going to be mad because why does Kinsley get them and me, not me? That's me being jealous. If I just think on it, and I think on it, and like, why do I not have what she has? I want what she has. So the opposite, the way to not be jealous is to thank God for the blessings I do have. What do I have? Well, I have really cool rubber boots. I have a super cool skirt. I have some other leggings, so I could be thankful for those leggings, right? So I count my blessings. I start thinking, why am I thankful? I'm thankful I'm here breathing today. If you can't think of anything else, you can think, okay, okay I'm breathing, right? I'm still alive. I can thank God for that. And the most thing we can thank God for is that he gave us who? His son. His son, Jesus, so that we can live forever with him. That's the best thing that we can always be thankful for. When we believe in Jesus, girly girls, what girls? When we believe in Jesus and that he died for us, then, and, and he's our savior, because we need to be saved from our sin, or those things that we do that are not what God says, then we can live forever with him in heaven. That's a reason to be thankful. Okay, Joseph. Joseph was, no, Joseph wasn't jealous. His brothers were jealous. What did they do, Jackson? Do you remember what his brothers did to him? He threw him in the pit. Yes. Threw him in the pit. And Not a good choice. And got did he him. stay in the pit, Waylon? What happened? Um, they, they, um, go to rope down in there, and then, um, he grabbed onto it, and then they climbed back up because he thought, um, they, they were going to help him. Yeah. But, but they, but they saw, um, men walking with a camel, and they, and they set them on the, That's right. To Egypt. 
I love how great you guys listen and remember this. This is awesome. You're exactly right. You said it so well. And they took him to Egypt a long way away to be a slave. Now we said a slave, slave, slave. That's bad. Slave's bad. That's when you take somebody and you say, you don't get your own choices. You don't get paid for your work. You're just going to have to do what I tell you to do. That's not good, right? And that's what they did to, to Joseph. So now we're going to pick up. Joseph has a lot more stuff that happens to him. And a lot of it's not good. And this is what's really kind of hard sometimes to think about. But God is good. And God had good plans. The Bible even says he was going to use Joseph to help a whole bunch of people later. But Joseph had to have a lot of bad things happen to him. Bad stuff. Bad, bad stuff. So here he is, okay? And he's in... Egypt, which Egypt's like a big country, okay? Now think about um, what else, one other part of our story last week. Joseph, what happens when you're asleep? Sometimes you have dreams. And he had some dreams. Do you remember? Yeah, he <laughs> Go ahead. told him they, they were planning some kind of, uh, mm -hmm. like it was hay or something. Yeah, yeah, stalks of wheat came up and they all bowed down. That's right. They all bowed down to Joseph. And they were like, what? Well, that just made him even more mad, right? But, you know, God gave him these dreams. And we're going to see where this actually comes to happen. Not that they're actually turned into wheat, but that they do need Joseph. And Joseph helps them. And they're thankful to Joseph. Okay, so the men who had bought Joseph from his brothers took him far from home to what country? Yeah. Egypt. Egypt. Yes. The Pharaoh, that's like the king or the president, the, the big top guy, he got to know Joseph and he liked Joseph and he showed favor to Joseph. And soon Joseph was the second person in command in Egypt. So he was like the vice president or like the king's assistant. He was the big guy. So that's pretty cool, right? He comes, he comes as the slave. Well, then he rises up. And he works hard, and the Pharaoh likes him, and God gave him this position that he is second to the Pharaoh. Well, God told Joseph in one of these dreams that Egypt would have a great famine. Do you know what the word famine means? No. No? It means family. It means what? I think it means family. Well, it doesn't, but I love, you're right, fam, fam, family, famine. So famine is when there's not enough food for the people. So maybe like it didn't rain, Holden, and there's no food. So people are starving. And it, it still happens in other, it doesn't happen in our country, but thank the Lord, it happens in other countries where they don't have enough food to eat. And so that's what happened in Egypt. Or God told Joseph it would happen. So what he started doing is getting extra food. And oh my goodness. Bad. Oh my yeah, just be careful. And what happened was he started getting the extra food and saving it and keeping it because he knew that there was going to come a time where people wouldn't have food. And God told him this so that God would help the people with this extra food, okay? So then when the time of famine came, Joseph, oh, Joseph opened up his warehouse and there was enough food for people to eat. That was a way that God provided for him and was good. Guess what happened? What? The time of Joseph, okay, the famine reached all the way to Joseph's family, Jacob and the boys. They are starving. They are hungry. They don't have any food, and they're like, what can we do? We've heard in Egypt they have some food, so let's travel there and see. Now, by this point, it had been a lot of years. They didn't even know where Joseph was. They didn't know what happened to him, okay? Joseph wasn't a boy any longer. When they did this, he was like a boy. He was young. Now he's a man, okay? He looked different. Well, when they got there, Joseph saw his brothers. And they didn't recognize him. Now, Joseph, remember, he was the second in power. He could have done anything he wanted. He could have thrown the brothers in prison. He could have had the brothers killed. He could have. He was that powerful. But you know what? He looked at him and he said, God has taken care of me. God has loved me and taken care of me, even in hard things. And even though... These people did mean things to me. I'm going to do good to them. Isn't that hard to do when somebody does something mean to you to be nice to them? You have to be nice to them. It's so hard to do, but you're right. And we can only do that with God's help. So, Joseph knew that God said we must not hate people. 
and he would return love for their hate, even what they had done. So he gave them food, and they were so glad. And then they found out that Joseph was alive. He said, I'm your brother, Joseph. And they were like, what? And they were so sad over what they had done, and they were amazed that Joseph was so good to them after what they had done. And it made them very thankful. And then here's a part of the story that I love, okay? At this point, Jacob was super old. Their daddy was so old, and he was so heartbroken. Remember, because they thought he thought Joseph had died, right? Because that's what they had told him. They had lied to him. Well, Jacob got to see his son Joseph again. Isn't that so good that God did that? Yeah. He, yeah. Jacob and all of Joseph's brothers, they actually moved to Egypt to live with Joseph so Joseph could take care of them. I love that part of the story that God was so good to let Joseph and Jacob be together again. And he got to take care of those brothers that were so mean to him. Isn't that something? So God did make everything work out for good, but it did take Joseph having a heart willing to forgive his brothers and to still be kind to them. We want to have that kind of heart. So let's pray and ask God to give us that heart. Lord, help us to be kind like Joseph, even to people that aren't kind to us. It's so hard, God. It's hard for me. And forgive my heart that is just mean and bitter sometimes and doesn't like to be hurt and wants to hurt people if they hurt me. Help me to forgive and help us to be kind just like Joseph did. Amen. You want to be kind. Well, it makes me sad because I think of people that have hurt me and that I, I don't want to always be nice to them, right? But God wants us to be nice to them, always. So that's what we want to do. Okay? These are happy tears. Yeah. These are tears that say, this is a sinful heart and God can still use my sinful heart. All right, let's sing our Be Kind and Compassionate song, okay? Be kind and well, we'll go sing it with the thing, yeah. Yeah!